Hi everyone, um, today I will be recording a hair tutorial and answering some Q&A about how to style my hair because a lot of people on TikTok are asking me. I need to just have this out there, refer everyone to this video because it's like the same questions. Um, which is cool, I don't mind replying to them but it's just like I gotten to a point where it's like I need to just make a video too. This is a straightener I use, it's a Conair. Infinity Pro. Um, I don't know if that can focus. Um, yeah, it's purple. I got it in like 2011. Put it at like 10 to 15 degrees. It depends. Like if I want to go faster, probably I will probably put like 25 degrees. I guess you can say. I recently dyed my hair, so this is like a great opportunity to show you how to style it. But um, it is a bit flat, so I will add some dry shampoo. I usually use this one. I feel like this is the best brand um, compared to the other ones. So yeah, I just kind of like put some, flip it up. This is a spray I used. This is like the best hairspray in my opinion. Um, it smells really good and it doesn't like make your hair super crunchy. Volume 5. Anyways, I put it in this small bottle. The nozzle does get stuck sometimes, at least for this one. Like when I brought it brand new, it just got stuck. So I just put it into this mini bottle. It works just as fine. Brush your hair before you start curling it um, because if it's not, it's gonna like come out bad. Put it up. You wanna section it because it's gonna have a cleaner waterfall effect if you do this. And that's what I like to achieve. Oh, I didn't even explain it. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. This is how it came out. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try to step back a bit. Um. Hopefully this next layer would show. So yeah. If you want to have a more cohesive look, I guess take thinner layers. You want it to go be flat. You don't want it to be like this and then curl it, it's going to come around. You want it to be as flat as possible. And then you go straight down midway and you curl it as you're going down the ends. And you want to be like quick because if you don't, it's going to come out like, it's going to have like a mark from the straightener. Go straight down and you just like put the curler up you know like upwards I can't really explain the technique I'm not a hairstylist but I've been doing my hair since I was in middle school I would say so I do have like some knowledgeable background I'm gonna explain it again um, go down midway and make sure your hair's flat flat and then as you're going towards the end you want to like flip it up it nicely and fast um, you'll get used to it sometimes when I am in a rush it doesn't come out how I want it and that's okay you know that's a look too sometimes I, I go out like that and it's fine you can also put hair oil usually I put hair oil but honestly I didn't mind split ends because it gives some type of texture to your hair like I don't know how to explain it but it makes your hair voluminous in a way because like I feel like silky healthy hair is just really flat and I love big hair I love 80s hair and you can grab how much oh your hair has to be um oh that was one of the questions a lot of people asked what hairstyle do I have like what haircut do I have and it's called a shaggy haircut it's um was a very popular haircut in like the 70s, 80s. It's just basically a bunch of choppy layers and it makes your hair look super voluminous. So that's one of the reasons why I've been wanting it. I used to cut my hair, but I got sick of that. <laughs> I might cut my own hair though because I am on a budget lately. And haircuts are not cheap. I guess people can also call it like the wolf haircut. I think 
that was like super popular last year. Um, you can cut your own hair if you want. But yeah, um, try not to curl it like too close to your midsection. The more layers you you do, the more like it's gonna look voluminous and super cool. You can do less if you don't have time like that. Like I definitely do less sometimes, to just especially for school. Like I don't really care. I usually take my time doing my hair whenever I'm recording or like um, taking photos. But yeah, usually curl it right after. I mean, hairspray it right after. Curl it upwards, like, closer to the ends than usual, and. If you don't like how the curl goes, um, definitely, definitely just keep trying again. You don't want to try to curl it again too many times because it does come out weird like this one. See, it just, it just, I don't know why I did that. There's a risk whenever you um, fail at a curl. If you want like crazier curls, then just do more layers. And then after that, I just like to like jush it up. It up. My bangs are kind of like the tricky part because my bangs are like really thin and if you mess up once it's kind of hard to like fix them but um, usually I would get it like thin like one layer at a time I'm just gonna try the whole thing and see how that goes because it's already thin enough you know I just do it all the way at the end I try not to do it all the way in the middle because then that's going to come out ugly. Okay, so these are the final results. I did this one off camera because I was having issues with it. But yeah, my hair did grow out. So it is a bit um, long. Longer than it usually is. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Like Once you get the hang of it, I started doing this hairstyle. I would say 2018, but yeah, over the years I have tweaked it a bit, changed it, you know, I have more layers now, and I get it cut now. So one of the questions was, what's your favorite hair color on you so far? Um, definitely green, I would say like this kind of color, uh, just green-black is my favorite combo, but I do like to try different types of hair dyes because I like to experiment and I get bored so I like you know pop of color like this like this is so cute another question is what kind of eyeliner brands do you use I use NYX of um, Kat Von D and like random ones I guess wet and wild sometimes but yeah NYX and Kat Von D are like the top best ones you can get were asking me about which hair dye I used for that video and it's just this hair dye for the green it's really good it looks like um, brown when you pour it but then it like I guess it oxidizes and turns into like a neon green and then I use this one for the pink this is like the best pink hair dye I've used it's really like creamy and isn't too it doesn't really stain your hair like um, Sparks and splat does and it's really blendable so highly recommend this I also believe this is vegan yeah vegan and cruelty free so that's cool I still have a lot of it screenshotted some questions there's a lot of them but I just it's, I'm just gonna answer like a few and I'll make another part two if there's more questions that I didn't answer someone said what's your haircut named it's just shaggy haircut and then I just asked for like Betty bangs slight Betty bangs I guess and they used to be thicker but I did let them grow out on that video I did get them cut thicker do you cut your hair or do you ask for a specific style at the stylist um no I used to cut my hair when I cut, used to cut my hair I used a razor an eyebrow razor and just like it like 
that, if that makes sense. It's kind of like how seen people do it. But, um, yeah, I don't now. For my celebrity inspo, I just said I really like Stevie Nicks, um, Farrah Fawcett, and um, I just said like shaggy rocker here. <laughs> Ending the video, I'm keeping it short. Um, subscribe to my channel, like, share, whatever, comment. Uh, I would be posting more um, content, fashion, and hairstyle, lifestyle related. So yeah, if you'd want to watch that, just follow. So oh, we just like to um, show the hair dye I've used for this, for my hair now. And it's basically um, Good Dye Young. And I actually got this for free by the company. They reached out. Um, it's just not sponsored. I just, they just gave me them, like a bunch of them for free. And I decided to try them. It's like the first time I've received products, so that's cool. And they are so good like the yellow one it's so like permanent and like it sticks to your hair like it, it's not gonna wash off right away highly recommend you try them out um, but yeah I just wanted to say that before anyone comments like what hair dye did I use for this I did mix like this with it too and I have a bunch of like a door hair dye so I did use that for like the transition shades yeah, for the most part, um, for the roots, I did use good dye on. 